the Lord be with you, and also with you. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth will proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. There are some questions as a curate uh, that you don't want to be asked that you might go to the vicar to be helped with. One of those big questions is, why me? We've maybe, maybe all of us at some point or another have asked that question, why me? And there is just no easy answer to that. You know, when I was at college, we spent much time discussing what it meant for people to suffer and for the things in life that really hurt us and make make the going tough. And none of us were able to answer those questions. And indeed, the greatest Christian thinkers of all time have been unable to give a simple answer. Perhaps in the end, all we have is that suffering is made possible to bear through love. The love of our family, the love of our friends, and most importantly, the love of God. A reading from Job 29. Job resumed his discourse, saying, If only I could go back to the way things were, to those days when God watched over me, when his lamp shone over my head, and I walked by its light through the darkness. If I could be like that when I was in my prime, when God encircled my tent, when the Almighty was still beside me and my children surrounded me, when my footsteps were awash with milk, and the rock gushed out streams of oil for me. Now my soul is empty within me. Despair holds me each day in its grip. My bones are racked night after night by a remorseless pain. God himself has cast me into the mire, discarded like dust and ashes. Christ promised that he will always be with us that through the Spirit we will always know his touch and his compassion and his love. The experience of Job is not the experience of the Christian, but the reality of suffering is a challenge we all face at one time or another. Let us pray. Gracious God, you came to our world through Jesus Christ, and despite everything that conspired against you, your love continues to shine through him. You conquered the forces of evil, you overcame the sting of death, and you brought joy out of sorrow, hope out of despair. Teach me, whatever I may face, to hold on to that truth, confident that you will always lead me out of darkness into your marvellous light. Hold on to me when life is hard, and assure me that you are present even in the bleakest moments able to use every moment of each day in ways beyond my imagining. Amen. One of the morning collects. Go before us, Lord, in all our doings, with your most gracious favour, and further us with your continual help, that in all our works begun, continued, and ended anew, we may glorify your holy name, and finally by your mercy attain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen and the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all, evermore. Amen.